ัสดีค่ะสบายดีไหม How are you Yes today you gonna learn how to greeting in Thai Okay so first word I think everyone know Hello in Thai we call สวัสดี right สวัสดี and when Thai people we say สวัสดี we gonna do this like this we call why Okay I gonna show you how สวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดีค่ะ Oh, look at this word. สวัสดี and why you put the word ค่ะ Oh, sometimes you heard the word ครับ right? Okay. สวัสดี is mean hello. This is the way we say hello in Thai. And this word, this is a lady. This is a man. For a lady, we gonna have the word which we gonna use it very often, which is mean ค่ะ So we gonna talk about ค่ะ for like for like next next subject. Okay. สวัสดีค่ะ This is the polite way to say hello. And for a man, of course, they gonna say สวัสดีครับ Also, we do the same thing. This one, why? We do why this posture is the way we respect for people. Okay, this why we gonna do why when you greeting, also when you say goodbye, and also when you say sorry. That's why why is very important because why. You need to do like this, and then you need to bow your bow your head. That is mean respect. When you bow your head, it's mean like you are respect for that person. Ha. So we why for people who older than you. We why a monk. We why um Buddha image stupa or some Buddhist thing, and also we why to say sorry. Ha. Thai people, we why a lot. This word, this one, why? Look at this one. Look at my hand, right? I make the shape like this. So the shape is look like this flower. It look like a lotus. Look at this. So when we do the hand like this, it mean a lotus. When we go into the temple, most Thai people we are Buddhist, right? When we go into temple, we gonna why for like the uh, Buddha image. That what I say before. Pay respect for a lot Buddha, and we gonna bring a lot of to a temple. If you have been to like a Thai temple, you gonna see like they sell a lot of in front of the temple, right? This is the flower of purity. The meaning of lot of is mean purity. Yes, that's why. Sometimes, of course, you don't have a lot of in your hand. Your hand can be a rotat, and your heart is a purity. This is the the meaning. Okay, yeah, it's very important. Lotus, you will see like um, lotus decorate all around the temple because it mean purity. If you see like um a platform where the Buddha image are right, also decorate with the lotus. And if inside the temple they have some like uh, some big pond, of course they gonna grow some lotus in there. Ha. That's why lotus is very important for Thai people. It's also like um when Thai people die, you know, for dead body, they they gonna put a lotus for like a dead body hand, and it mean dead body gonna lay down and the hand gonna be like this. They gonna tie the lotus like this. It mean you die with the lotus. You die with why posture, yeah. That is re re also refer to like you why when you die. You why like the Lord Buddha when you die, and you gonna go into like uh some heaven something like this. This is what we we believe. So this is why, and we have many level of why. Okay, this is the normal why. สวัสดีค่ะ When you say hello to someone, and Your nose, it touch with your thumb. สวัสดีค่ะ And bow your head. สวัสดีค่ะ Okay. And if is that person is more like important or like a lot older than you or um like a teacher, of course we need to pay respect for teacher a lot. So is this one like this before like um in between your shade, right? สวัสดีค่ะ and we move a little bit up. Also, your thumb is touch your nose. สวัสดีค่ะ and if for a monk, 
or your parents pay for like some Buddha thing or some like something in the temple. Your thumb in between your eyebrow. This like this and bow your head. And this one for a king. Like this. This is the level of Y in Thai. And if I'm younger for like some some people I met whoever, I gonna Y to them and I don't expect them gonna be Y back to me if they are older than me. Sometimes they just like do like this. So D, but they don't bow their head. Okay? For example, I say so what D for like some older people. They say so what D, but they not really bow their head. But I am younger. I am gonna be the person who bow the head like this. Okay, this is why. And also when you buy a monk, you don't need to like you don't need expect monk gonna buy your back. Okay, monk will not buy your back. Monk is like something we really respect for and like we not they will not buy your back anyway. Ha. This is the way we do in Thai, the way to show respect. And look at this picture. Okay, this one. People touch the head. What do you think about this? This is very important in Thai. It's like something you should not do. Okay, because not so good to do it. Yes. So for Thai people, right? We believe head. Is a higher part of your body. That's why we really like um careful with this part. Like you cannot touch some people head. Just like hey, maybe you with your friend. Okay, you can do it. But I'm not think your friend gonna happy with that. Ha. Because yeah, it's a higher part and feet is a lower part. So feet and head is like different thing. Is like you cannot really like. Put it together. Even you see, it, you need to try to like keep your your feet. Like uh, if you see like Thai people sit, when we sit on the floor, right? We're gonna try to keep the feet under our leg, and that is so difficult to sit. And I think right now, like um, I mean, like I I see a lot foreigner cannot sit like Thai people. <laughs> yes, the way we sit is different because we need to we need to hide the feet. Yes. Okay. Don't touch head and keep your feet and don't use your feet to do anything. Like um, when you sit, even cross your leg. That is not a good thing because when you cross your leg, your leg need to point point to someone, right? That is not so good. They're gonna feel like, oh, what? Like they point the feet in this, in in my face, in my head, like that. That is not so good, ha. And also, like when you try to give thing for friend, pass something for your friend, don't use your feet. Yes, that is a shock culture in Thai. Of course, um, it's shock for me as well. I have foreigner friend, and the way they give thing to me, they just it's kind of like it's like kick it for me, kick that thing for me. <gasps> Oh my god, what are you doing? I do something wrong and make him angry or not? Yeah, this is the way we gonna think. Ha. For like body part is very important for Thai people because it show about your manner. Yes. You like um since we was young, teacher or your parents gonna teach you a lot about like the manner, what should you do, what like you should not do. Of course, the first thing we need to why when you see people. To show our respect, if you not why people gonna judge you like oh they they have no manner, no one teach them to why, and people gonna judge you that way. Okay, that's why why is very important. And touch people head not a good thing to do. Even um if for a kid you gonna feel like if you touch some uh touch a kid head that to show like oh it's like they're so cute like that. This is depend on a situation. Ha. You can touch it if maybe you know with their parent. Oh, they're so cute, and it's it depends on situation for like if you touch um the head of the baby, okay. And also for Thai people, we have a really um cannot call it a bad habit. We we love kids, you know. 
and you like to touch like a kid stranger. I mean, like you walk on the road, you see, oh, that kid is so cute. You touch them like this. This this can be like our uh, bad habit because we oh, they so cute, and we touch them. For a baby, it can be like exception, but yeah, it depends on situation. Maybe you allow, like, maybe you can ask, like, oh, can I, like, uh, see your baby? That is more, like, better, okay? This is about tap head. And for a, um, a baby thing, that's one is very interesting. Um, our go government, <laughs> we tell, like, Thai people, I heard from the news, Thai people, when you go, like, travel to Europe or America, don't try to touch, like, their, their baby, someone baby. In Thai, it's okay, it's fine. Thai and Thai people, we know each other, right? We feel like, oh, okay, it's normal in here, but we go abroad. So they touch like a Falang baby, foreigner baby, and foreigner people feel like, what? Because it's different, right? This is what government want Thai people. Cannot do that, cannot do that. It's not like in our country. <laughs> yeah, about body part, you need to follow, okay? And about your feet, keep it. And finger for body part, right? About your finger, we not really point with one finger like this. Hey, that one, this one, like this. Because this is feel like uh, we feel like it's command tell you to do something like it's like a bossy one. Okay, don't do that. Don't do this. This is the way we think. That's why when you're gonna introduce something or introduce some people, we are gonna bump your hand like this, like this. This one, blah, blah, blah. That one, blah, blah, blah. That is my house. Ah, this one is expensive. This one not expensive. If you point like this, um, we feel different, okay? Yes, but sometimes, um, I mean like, we understand as well some foreigner culture. Maybe you, they not really like uh, know our culture well. We, we also know we will not angry for everyone. They pointed to me. So I'm just angry. No, it's not this way. Okay. We also know about different culture. Yes. This is some part of body part in Thai. Yes. And next, for next lesson, of course, we're going to have like um about body part, I'm gonna tell you what you should not do with this hand, something like that. When you pass this thing, you need to part with your right hand or left hand that way. Okay? But right now, you know about Sawadi and you know about why and you know don't touch your head. I mean don't touch some people's head. Don't point thing with your feet. And another polite thing is the word crap. And ka. Krap and ka. Okay? This is a polite word in Thai to show our respect, to show you are polite to other people you talk to. That's why the word krap and ka we're gonna put at the end every single sentence. Even when we speak English, we still feel like we need to put ka and krap in there. For example, if you have like some Thai friend who try to speak English with you, they can ask you, what is your name, Ka? Where are you from, Ka? What do you like to eat, Ka? Like this. We feel like this. That's why we put Ka and Ka at the end, every single word, Ka. Okay, let's see this one. The word Ka. The word Ka, we can use for a woman. Okay, and we use in any situation. Can you repeat after me again? Ka. Ka. Falling tone. Okay. And for a lady, the word ka put for high tone. Ka. We're gonna put at the end of a question. Where are you going, ka? I'm going to school, ka. Falling tone, ka. Put for every situation. And high tone, ka put for a question okay this one for a lady but for a man so easy you have crap crap high tone okay crap crap is the polite word for a man actually you should say like a crap have r in there but 
you cannot hear Thai people. They say just only cup, cup, cup. It's like a cup of coffee. That's the way you cannot hear. Club, the correct one. And cup is the way you cannot hear from them. But the meaning is the same, okay? Ka and club. That's why I gonna say Sawadi Ka. And the man gonna say Sawadi Club. Yes. Also, the word Ka and the word club can be the word yes, can be like yes, agree. Ka. You see? I say yes, I mean like I say Ka a lot. You gonna hear I say Ka, Ka, Ka a lot for like next lesson or like later. Because Ka is mean yes. When I say ka, also mean yes, and I also am try to be polite as well. Okay, okay ha. Oh, you see, I say okay ka, yes. And okay, we're gonna learn for next page for a pronoun. Okay, check on. Ka. Okay, let's continue for pronoun. Ready for this one? Okay, ready. You can read already. You know all the vowels. You know how to put the tone already. Okay, let's try for first lesson. Can you read this one for me? The word you. Okay, the word you is kun. Kun. Can you repeat after me one more time? Kun. Kun is mean you. And if you put the word kun and follow the name. Kun is mean Mrs. or Mr. If you come to Thailand, of course, Thai people are gonna call you Kun and follow your name. You'd for you'd for like address your name, okay? Like Kun Peter, Kun John, Kun James, Ka. Kun is mean you and I for a woman. I for a woman is Chan. Chan, rising tone. One more time. Chan, and for this one, sometimes you can hear Thai people say Chan. They can make a high tone as well. The meaning also the same. Chan and Chan, but Chan is more correct if I follow the rule from like a Thai word. Okay, Chan, and I for a man. Pom. Pom, pom is I for a man, okay. And next one, he, she, they, them. Kau, kau, high tone. One more time, kau. And same thing, this one. Sometimes you can hear they say kau. This one can put for high tone and falling. Kau and kau, same thing. And we, rau, rau is mid tone. Rau, and you heard me pronounce R sound really clear, right? But in you, in like um real life, R gonna disappear. Just say rau, rau, rau like this. Ha. And it, man, man, man. Okay. Okay. One more time. Kun, Chan, and Pop, and Kau, and Rau, and last one, Man. Okay, good, easy, right? What is your name? Okay, right now we're gonna try to put in the sentence. The first easy sentence that everyone need to know is what is your name what you know what does this mean what right what is arai 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 and can you remember question we put at the end of the sentence arai of course arai is a question of course gonna be at the end of sentence and name you see this line, right? When you see this line, whenever you need to make the lip like that line or like smile. So this one is shoo, shoo. 
and falling. ชื่อ is a name. Nickname. ชื่อเล่นชื่อเล่นชื่อ is mean name. เล่น is mean play like to play something, play sport, play game. ค่ะ The word "len" is play. When you play something, it means that thing not serious, right? That's why in Thai word a lot, you gonna see like they put the word "len" behind some verb and behind some noun like this. It means that thing is not serious. So, ชื่อ "len" name not serious is nickname. Yeah, ชื่อ "len" and all Thai people. We have a nickname, ค่ะ All Thai people, we have a nickname, and okay, given name. ชื่อจริงชื่อจริงชื่อ is mean name. จริง is mean real. ชื่อจริง is real name. Okay, ชื่อ is a name. ชื่อเล่น nickname, and ชื่อจริง is Full name or like your given name. All Thai people we have ชื่อเล่น and when you ask some Thai people name first, I, most we gonna say like we gonna tell you our nickname. We not really tell like oh um, my full name. Of course, Thai ชื่อจริง is so long, really is so long. So that's why we have ชื่อเล่น to give for everyone. And ชื่อเล่น you can change all the time, you know. Yeah, ชื่อเล่น is is a thing like uh, it's not serious. You don't need to go to some government place to change it. You can change all the time. And even if ชื่อเล่น is not serious like this, but it's the first thing your mom and your dad gonna think for you. It's before ชื่อจริง Of course, you gonna get nickname. Before you, before you get a real name, because the the way we get a real name is take time. You know why it take time? Because um, parent gonna try to give you a nickname after you born. Because we need to know what time that baby will born, and what day and what day, and also the time is very, uh, it's very important, and we gonna give all of that. To a mom or some people who like uh, know very well about this thing, mom gonna calculate. Okay, this girl is born born on Monday, twenty six April. This month, they should not have this consonant in this name, and this girl should have just only two syllable on her name. So in the future, she gonna have a good luck thing. Blah blah blah. This is the way we get a um, real name. Is Complicated, okay. If your mom care about that, yeah. But most family gonna care about that because we believe if you don't get the name which is fit with your day or your uh your thing with you, I mean like we believe about um what is called horoscope like that. If the name is not fit with your horoscope, that is mean you will never have like a Successful when you grow up, you gonna think you not healthy this way. This is what we think, ha. That's why to get a real name is difficult and take a time and take time. I mean, children, I can change, but we believe like um, children, the mom and dad give you that is a good one already. But okay, for example, like my friend, right? When they going to a new school. They don't like the old name, which is friend no already. They gonna change to other name for a new friend, like this, Chai. Okay, yes. Okay, let's try for like pattern practice. What is your name? Kun is mean you. Chu is mean name, and Arai is mean what? Kun. ชื่ออะไรคุณชื่ออะไร Your name what is mean What is your name 
You need to forget about the word is. Okay, we don't have it. We don't put in the sentence. Ha. And how should I write? How should I Can you guess what does this mean? You know the word how. How is he or she? How should I What is her name? What is his name? Ha. Okay, repeat after me again. Kun shu arai. And next one. Kau shu arai. Easy? Okay, I think it's easy. And this is the way you answer. My name is Chan or Chan, right? Shu ang ka. I put the polite word at the end as well. Chan. Shu Ang is my name. Ka. I name Ang Ka. My name is Ang Ka. Yes. And let's see. The man gonna say Pom. Pom is mean I for a man, right? Pom. Shu Tom Prap. I name Tom Prap. My name is Tom. And polite word Prap. Okay. Yes. Easy. Right? Yeah. Okay. Next page. Ready for next page, right? Okay. Title and name. The word Kun, which is mean you. If we put in front of the name of a woman and a man, that's matter. Kun is mean Mrs. or Mr. Ha. Kun Ang. Kun. Peter, like this, you see? Peter is a man name. Don't need to separate for like Mrs. or Mr. Miss. Just Kun, easy. Oh, Thai language is so easy, right? <laughs> yes, this is easy part. And Thai nickname. Yes, of course. If you have some Thai friend, you're gonna uh, curious about them, their name. Because when you ask, what does this mean? What does this mean of your name? And they're gonna tell you the funny meaning. I mean, like, it's not funny meaning, but the way we have a nickname, it can be everything all around your, everything all around the world. And yeah, that is, that is a Thai nickname, you know. For example, my name is Som. Chan Chu Som. My name is Som. Som is mean orange. Why you name orange? Foreigner good thing like that, right? <laughs> but Song is a popular name. And next one. My name is Kao. Chan Chu Kao. What does this mean, Kao? Kao is mean rice. Why you name rice? <laughs> and next one. My name is Pepsi. Chan Chu Pepsi. What? Yes, Pepsi. Really Pepsi. Like a can of Pepsi. This is Thai people name as well. My name is Nam. Chan Chu Nam. Nam is mean water. Yes. My name is Tang Mo. Chan Chu Tang Mo. Tang Mo is mean watermelon. This is how. Uh, this is. I feel weird with this like name. You know. Ha. Chai. Orange, rice, Pepsi, water, watermelon. I don't think. Um, I mean, Juro or America, you're gonna name the kid like this. But this the, but this the way Thai people give the name. For, for example, for like Pepsi. Probably Pepsi sound like Falang. Falang is mean foreigner. It sound like foreigner name. This is cool. So give this name for our baby. It's cool. Like this. In the past, the way we give a nickname should be like, have a good meaning. For example, the word gold. Tong, the word ngân, which is mean money, something like this. Ha. This is how we get a nickname from. And right now, it's Sheng. We, we, like, you know, we know more like foreigner, we get more influence from your culture, something like that. That's why our name is Sheng as well. Don't surprise if some people tell, oh, my name is Robot. Pongshu robot. Not surprised. This is our nickname. Can be that way. My name is Bamboo. 
<laughs> really, we try to like give the name in English style because we feel like oh that is so modern, that is so like high so high society. Right now the kid name is this way: piano, kita, robot, copper, um, iPhone. Yeah, really, we have the name iPhone as well. No iPhone, like little iPhone. <laughs> yes, car. That's why. But it's a good thing, right? For you, it's a good sight because you can learn a new word from like Thai keeper name. Yeah, you have ten friends, you can learn ten word from them like this. Okay, lady for this one. Where are you from? Where are you from? The first word, ka, ma, ma, ma is mean to come. Ma, from. Ja, ja, it's not, you don't need to pronounce like a strong K, okay? Ja, that's all. And where? Question word. T, nai, T, nai, T, nai is where? Country. Pra, te, pra, te, BP, you need to explore your mouth. Pra, te. It's a country, and you can follow the name of the country. ประเทศไทยประเทศอเมริกา City เมือง State รัฐรัฐ High tone รัฐ and province จังหวัดจังหวัดค่ะ Okay. Ka for pattern practice. Okay. What country are you from? Kun ma ja pra te a rai. Kun ma ja pra te a rai. You come from country what? What country are you from? Okay. Kau ma ja. เมืองอะไรเขามาจากเมืองอะไรเขา he or she right he or she come from city what or it mean he or she come from what city ค่ะ and maybe we gonna try to put the name of some people for like mention about them right คุณเดฟคุณเดฟอีสมิสเตอร์เดฟมาจากรัฐอะไรคุณเดฟมาจากรัฐอะไรมิสเตอร์เดฟ come from state what what state มิสเตอร์เดฟมิสเตอร์เดฟ come from this way โอเคไหมคะ and maybe you want to ask คุณเดฟมาจากจังหวัดอะไรคุณเดฟมาจากจังหวัดอะไร What city are Mr. Dave come from? Yes. Easy? ค่ะ An easy one. Just ask about country, right? คุณมาจากประเทศอะไร Of course, when you ask some like um some foreigner, คุณมาจากประเทศอะไรค่ะ Okay. Next page. This is how we answer. We 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 ask already, and right now we need to answer. ฉันมาจากประเทศ and put the name of your country there. I gonna try to use um my information. Okay, ไหมคะ Okay. ฉันมาจากประเทศไทย I'm come from the city of Thailand. ฉันมาจากเมืองเชียงใหม่ I come from เชียงใหม่ city ฉันมาจากรัฐโอ้ไม่มีไม่มี is mean don't have ไม่มี don't have and I gonna say Thailand ประเทศไทยไม่มีรัฐ we don't have state okay but we have จังหวัด and I gonna say ฉันมาจากจัง
วัดเชียงใหม่ฉันมาจากจังหวัดเชียงใหม่ I'm come from the province of Chiang Mai and you can confuse you come from the city of Chiang Mai and you also from the province of Chiang Mai the city or เมือง right is the main city in the province ค่ะ is the big city in like a province and Chiang Mai Chiang Mai province also have like a Chiang Mai city okay yes Okay, let's try to learn about some country. This is the way Thai people call like other countries. Okay, the first one, America. America. This is America. Yeah, America. We say the same way, but we also have a nickname for America. You know, we call. The country of authority, the country of authority, or Thai way we say, ประเทศมหาอำนาจ This one they gonna use in the news when they report the news. Next is more interesting like this. Okay, next one, Australia. Thai people we pronounce Australia, Australia. Australia is Australia. Ha. Okay. Next one. England. We call Anglit. 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 England. And France. 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 Ha. France. France. This is the way we say. And Germany, German, German. We don't have the word "me" at the end. German is Germany. Ha. Japan, 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 like Nippon, Japan. And Korea, Korea, Korea. And China. จีนจีนเมียนมาพัดมาพัดมา and ลาว also ลาวค่ะ we try to say like um we try to say same like English say but sometimes our pronoun is like change but some country we have our name for them as well and also we have all the nickname for every country We can talk like after, okay? Yes. For nationality, have you ever heard the word "falang"? Repeat after me again. Falang, ha. If you come to Thailand, you're gonna heard a lot this word "falang," "falang," and then you're gonna confuse like, what does "falang" mean? Why they call me "falang"? Falang is the way Thai people used to call um Vietnamese or like Caucasian. Okay, Fala for America, people, American like England people, Europe people. Ha, we use this word to call them, but not to call like Asian people. For Asian, okay, look at this line. This one. Japan, Korea, Jin, Pama, and Lao. We gonna put the word Kon. Which is mean people in front of the name of the country. So, Kon Yipun, people Japan. This is Japanese people. Kon Kauli, Korean people. Kon Jin, Chinese people. Kon Pama is Bur Ah uh, Burmese, and Kon Lao is Laos people. But the word for now, look at this. We are gonna put for all of this country. Yes, this is what I think. I think for Asia people, we can divide, right? Oh, that person come from Korea. This person come from China. That's why we can tell like where are they from. Oh, that is Korean Chinese. But for foreigner or Westerner, I mean a Westerner, you are look the same. 
we we cannot um, divide. Oh, that person should come from like Spain. That person that should come from like America. It difficult for for us to like to divide because you are big and tall, all the same. That's why we use the word "vala" for all of that. Ka. Okay, this is the way we call foreigner. Ka vala for foreigner and con for the country that is Asian people. Okay, I hope you enjoy and understand for like um some of this. Maybe don't worry if you not understand hundred percent, but. We're gonna try to like slowly, slowly, and try to get it. Okay, ha. And thank you for today. Next time we're gonna ask, um, how are you in Thai? That is more like interesting, ha. And today, สวัสดีค่ะ.